Hi, this is uh, DJ Dutch. Um, I bought a nice Shure LX2 wireless microphone off eBay for about 40 bucks. And even though I don't have the uh, receiver for this thing, I thought it would be good to at least have a spare um, wireless um, capsule here. So it came in and if I look at my ULX2 here, take that one off, um, you can see that there is a difference in the size of these capsules. So I'm not sure if that means that this is original or maybe a fake, but I looked at pictures of other LX2s and they seem to have the same long um, capsule. So when I put this one on my working ULX series, turn it on, you see the frequency in the back there come up and there is a response when I tap the microphone. Now if I put the LX2 cartridge on there, it doesn't do anything. I've checked the website and sure actually says that these heads are interchangeable. So I'm suspecting that there is an issue with this cartridge. See, it comes back up there and there is no signal coming out of the unit. So considering this lost cause, I thought I'd uh, see if I can open it up. So looking at the capsule itself, it feels pretty solid. And if you take off the head, the grill, you see all the associated sure stickers and warnings. It looks like somebody took off the phone at some point. And it's got a nice and shiny contact here, which does have ribs here, so you can actually feel this. And I thought, okay, so how do I get into this thing? Um, obviously the first thing you do is try and pull it out. It won't do that. And the warning actually says you shouldn't do that. Uh, so I went on the uh, internet to see if I could find anyone that had done that before. And I could not find it. Um, I did find somebody that opened and changed out the cartridge of a regular wired Shure SM58. And there was a bolt sitting at the bottom of um, that cartridge, which obviously is not the case in this particular version. So if you look really carefully, there's these little nicks in here that keep this bottom circuit board in place. And as I already thought this was a lost cause, um, I thought I'd see if I can kind of open up these little prongs here to see if I can get inside the unit. So it's not my best work ever, but with a bit of smaggling, I was able to bend back all these little lips here and with some scratching, unfortunately, able to finally get under the little PCB plate and open it up. Now, obviously, this is a lost cause, so if you want to use this unit afterwards, make sure that you are very careful when opening it up. And I haven't figured out yet how to get it back in if we were to use it again. I'm assuming that, uh, you know, maybe the simplest solution is some uh, hot glue. Okay, now we've got this piece out of the way. You can see um, there is some, you know, resistors and stuff going on there. And then we do see the uh, bolt that holds the um, capsule in place. So we'll try and see if we can get hold of that and uh, extract the capsule. And that actually came up pretty nicely. Um, just use a piece of uh, some pliers here to uh, remove the bolt and then a little washer. And then here is the little face plate. Comes out over the axle. And there we have it. O-ring in there as well. And now you can see will come out. So if you want to take it out all the way, you'll have to desolder it, which I'll do in a minute. But now you know what the inside of one of these really expensive and very nice quality Sure wireless capsules looks like. Okay, here we go. So sorry for being left-handed, that must be very awkward for a lot of people to watch, but I'll just quickly desolder these little connectors, there we go. 
and hopefully now we can clear the capsule. And there we are. So we can now go online and find ourselves a new capsule. And um, then we are not really much further ahead of the game. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd video this for you guys. Uh, anyone that wants to see what one of these looks like inside, um, you can save yourself a lot of trouble if you uh, don't want to break your nice microphone. This is DJ Judge signing off and good luck.